Hi. <laughs> Thank you for talking to me about this. It was so delightful to watch the show. I was a fan of the original and I had no idea where this was going to go with things. So I thought it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks. I I'm curious for you. I mean, with something like this where you hadn't been familiar with the original your parents had, what got, you know, how did you get into it? Did you just sort of pick a random episode to watch it? How did you get your impression of what the original series was? Yeah, well, I started with the pilot um, because the pilot of the original and the pilot of our show um, are pretty much parallel in terms of story. Um, and so it was really cool um, through the auditioning process to have sort of the knowledge of the original show um, going into each audition. Was it fun to also not have to be beholden to anything really specific with the original series since you're not directly connected to that? You, you make a comment about how, you know, it was a TV show and that's why you have the nickname. So you're not, you don't have to answer to any of that. So did, did there, was there like a sense of freedom with that? Um, definitely. I would say I, I felt um, a certain amount of pressure, you know, because the original was so iconic and there is such a vast fan base for that show. Um, and so I really wanted to keep the spirit of the original alive and do justice to the original. Um, but also Courtney did such a great job of sort of turning it on its head in a way and bringing the show into the world we live in today. And because of that, um, sort of creating a lot of space for creative freedom. You're no stranger to leading a show or playing the title character of a show. So how was doing this show? How did it compare to doing Andy Mack? Have you felt any major differences or is it just sort of the responsibility feels greater as you know the older you get? Yeah, I mean, I think it's what's so hard about it and what's so great about it is you never get, you know, your first big project again, you know, and for me, that was Andy Mack. It was my first everything, you know, um, and so obviously Doogie was different for me because it wasn't the first time anymore, you know, and I had much more experience walking into it, but um, there is something so fun about, you know, being a little bit older and having a little bit more responsibility and, you know, having more experience coming into it. Um, and also, you know, obviously there's a part of me that even though it's not my first time experiencing these things, it's still just as exciting as it was when it was the first time. Does that also help you identify with the character in the sense that you are in a professional setting and there are these adult expectations and responsibilities placed on you? And even though you're not a teenage doctor, you're still, you know, at the lead of it. Definitely. I mean, I think Lahela's sort of navigation of being caught between two different worlds is very similar to my own experience. Um, like you said, obviously I'm not a doctor, but I am an actor. And so I, I do have, I think, unique insight into what it feels like and, and the very isolating at times experience of being a young person um, in a professional setting and sort of having these expectations and pressures and responsibilities that adults have, but still being a kid um, and how to sort of grow up and rise to the challenge, but also, you know, create space for you to be a, ch a kid. Um, so I think navigating that is something that I have, um, pretty vast experience with that I was able to bring to um, portraying Lahela. This is a young woman who has a lot of confidence in her abilities as a doctor. What are the challenges in delivering that as an actor? Because you not only have to show the confidence that she has, but you have to actually be comfortable with how natural the doctorly stuff is. 
Yeah, I mean, it was a big challenge for me. Uh, most of my acting, you know, as much as I can, um, because authenticity is so huge for me, I try to pull as much from my real life as I possibly can. And, you know, when bringing a character to life, you know, use as much of my real life experience to create a performance. Um, and so with the hospital scenes and with all of her doctor stuff, I had no personal experience to pull from. I couldn't connect, you know, to what it is to be taking care of a patient or have someone else's life in my hands. You know, th those were not experiences that I was familiar with in any way. And so working towards creating an authentic performance was much more difficult because I couldn't ground it in my experience in real life. Did you have someone there on set to help you with all that if questions came up during filming? Yes, we had a doctor on set every time we had any hospital scene or medical scene. And I would just, you know, drill lines with him or go through procedures with him or just listen to him talk about what it was that the scene was about, you know? Um, and I also did a lot of research on my own time, Googling, YouTubing, WebMDing, um, all that good stuff. <laughs> what do you enjoy most about this family dynamic? Because I love the dynamic between her and her parents and her two brothers. What was it like to not only have that relationship develop as characters, but also you guys as actors? Yeah, I mean, I think there is something so intense about shooting a show, you know, that you you become bonded to the people you're working with very quickly. Um, and on top of that, we were also on an island together, which just cuts down the population of people you're seeing by a lot. And then on top of that, we were doing it in the middle of a pandemic. So we really only had each other to lean on um, and to rely on. And so we grew really close really quickly and learned a lot about each other really quickly. Um, and I think those dynamics um, that we developed so rapidly off screen translate on screen and I think really add to the chemistry and camaraderie um, that comes across on screen. When you have such a beautiful backdrop to work in, is it ever challenging not to be distracted by the location that you're in just for the sheer beauty of what you're surrounded by? Yeah, I mean, I think in a sense, yes. Um, it is very easy to get caught up in all of it, but I think that works for the show, you know? I think sort of allowing yourself to be overwhelmed by how beautiful it was only adds to the show, you know, because it's truthful, you know? When you are standing on that beach, looking at that water and the sky and the mountains, there is this very overwhelming experience and feelings that sort of occur because of that. And in a sense, I think being in Hawaii and genuinely experiencing all of that, I think that all really grounds the show. At the beginning of the season, she's trying to figure out how to balance, you know, this professional life with life as a teenager. By the end of the season, do you feel that she will have a better grasp of that? Or is it just going to be a continual work in progress for a while? I mean, sort of yes to both questions. Um, I think by the end of the season, you definitely see a lot of growth in Lahela, and I think she has a stronger foundation than at the beginning. Um, but, you know, life's a work in progress. I don't think there's any point in life where we stop growing or stop learning or stop changing and evolving. And so I definitely think even at the end um, of the season, even though she has grown and matured and learned a lot. There's so much still she has to learn and experience. Have you started to have conversations with Courtney about what future seasons of the show would explore? Do you have a sense of where things might go? I mean, we've talked about it in a very limited capacity. Um, you know, I, I try to keep my expectations low so that they're always being exceeded. And so I don't want to jinx anything or um, 
or prepare for something that might not happen. But yes, we've definitely talked about it in the sense of just, wouldn't it be so cool if we talked about X, Y, and Z or, or showed Lahela experiencing whatever it it, it may be. Um, so yes, we definitely both see so much for Lahela's character and for all the characters in the show. Um, there's so much untapped that we haven't dove into yet. Is there a quality in her or an aspect of her that you've grown to appreciate the longer you've played her and gotten to know her that you didn't necessarily realize she had in the beginning? Hmm. That's a great question. Um, yeah, I think one thing that I really grew to appreciate about Lahela is that she's incredibly open um, to, to learning and to growing. And, you know, even as a genius, you know, who is a prodigy doctor, she's not shut down. She, she doesn't seem like, okay, I've learned everything there is to know I'm done. You know, she's very open to growing and to continuing to change and ask for help when she needs it. And I think that's very admirable. Yeah, I, I think that that's what makes the relationship with her and her best friend so fun too, because she does go to her best friend for advice on things that she might not necessarily understand, even if she could save somebody's life at work. Yeah, exactly. Well, I appreciate you talking to me about it. I thought the show was so fun. It was, I just, I love your character. I think she's, she's really cool and a great, great role model for kids. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.